you can trade stocks right from your scans and charts via our one-click order feature. Simply right-click into the scan or chart and select Trade to bring up a drop-down menu with pre-configured order templates. To create a simple order template for our one-click order feature, open the Brokerage Plus module. To do so, go to the toolbar, select New, and choose Brokerage Plus from the drop-down. First, connect to the Trade Ideas Simulator or your broker's life or paper trading account by selecting Connect. Next, open the Strategies tab within Brokerage Plus by selecting New and then Strategies tab. To create a new one-click order template, right-click into the Strategies tab window and choose New Trading Strategy. Please note that this configuration menu is also used to create trading instructions in order to automate strategies. The menu options that are relevant for a simple one-click order template will not be outlined in this tutorial. First, give your order template a name, then choose its direction. If you would like to buy stocks using the template, select long. If you would like to borrow stocks to sell, choose short. Ignore the configure and collaborate options. For the purpose of this tutorial, they are needed to configure trading strategies for automation involving alerts and filters. Next, Select Accounts and choose Accounts as Allocation Type. Then, select your trading account. Thereafter, hit Save. Now, head to the Entry Time tab. These time settings are also more relevant for the automation of strategies, so just set the start time to 9.30 a.m. and the end time to 4 p.m. Uncheck all the boxes, except the box, Send Orders even when holdings exist for symbol. We will leave this option checked. The option, Use Custom Route is relevant, if you wish to execute your order on a specific route, like the ARCA or BATS. Leave it unchecked, unless you have a reason to change the exchange route. In the Order Details tab, you can define your position sizing. You can base your position size on a fixed dollar amount, fixed shares or the total dollar amount you would like to risk in terms of a stop loss. Our software will automatically calculate the other parameters, saving you time and effort. I will enter $100 as the total amount I would like to risk when executing orders. Next, you can select the entry order type. Choose a limit order, if you would like to keep tight control over the entry price, which is advisable. Choose a market order. If getting into the trade is more important to you than the exact entry price, learn about market orders before making this choice and be particularly careful using this order type when trading fast moving stocks and stocks with large spreads. Choose a stop limit or stop entry order only if you are familiar with this entry order type as well as the use of filters and custom formulas in order execution. Next, Set the time in force for your entry order, in other words, its expiration time. GTD means good till day. Select the number of minutes and seconds you would like your order to stay open before it gets cancelled when not having been filled. If you select GTC, which means good till cancelled, your order will remain open until you manually cancel it. Day means the order will stay open until the close of market on the given day. A stop formula will only be needed if stop limit or stop are selected as entry order type. Use less price as limit reference unless you are familiar with custom formulas and filters. The limit offset gives you the ability to control how aggressive or passive your entry order will be. It simply allows a bit of wiggle room. If you set the limit offset to zero, you are stating that your limit price for the order will be the exact price of the alert. If you enter a negative limit offset, like minus two cents, you are prepared to pay up to two cents more per share, if going long, or two cents less, if going short. This approach is best for prioritizing the likelihood of being filled, over a rigid price level.
If you enter a positive limit offset, like 1 cent, you are waiting for the price of the stock to become 1 cent cheaper, if going long, or 1 cent higher, if going short. You are stating that you are prepared to wait for the stock price to move in your direction, rather than to pay a little more to get in quicker. Please note, that these rules are the same for long and short orders. With a negative limit offset, you are willing to lose some profit potential, in an effort to get filled, with a positive offset you are stating, that you will wait for the price to come to you, even if that means a lower possibility of being filled. The limit formula, only requires a selection, if you choose filter, as the limit reference. Only do so, if you are familiar with custom formulas or the use of filters in order execution. In the risk management tab, you can define your stop loss, or trailing stop, as well as your profit target if you so choose. Your options are to define your stop, and target, in dollars, in percent, or with the help of a filter. If you choose dollars per share or a percentage per share, use the offset to define the number. As an example, if you would like to use a 20 cent per share stop loss, enter 0.20 as the offset. Only choose a filter if you are familiar with the use of filters or custom formulas in order execution. Please note, that the filter calculation needs to result in a static dollar or percentage value. Trade Ideas does not hold any orders, all orders are immediately sent to the brokerage. For this reason, stop loss and target price cannot be based on a value that requires constant monitoring and recalculation like a moving average or a bar stop. When the option, use less price as reference for placing exit orders, is selected, your exit orders, will be placed relative to the last price. When this option is unchecked, your exit orders, will be placed relative to the order price, including offset. In the hold time tab, you can set a timed exit, if you so choose. You can choose an intraday time stop, or a multi-day time stop. To close the trade after a certain time period in minutes, select the option, minutes after entry, and set your time. Alternatively, you can define a specific time of day, for your exit. You can also choose an exit in relation to the open, or close, of the market. This option is particularly useful for swing traders, who like to hold their position for longer periods of time. Select OK, once you have adjusted all your settings. You will now see the newly created order template listed in the Strategies tab of Brokerage Plus. If you right-click into your scan or chart and select, Trade, it will now show up as an option in the drop-down menu. Once selected, your order will be sent directly to your brokerage with the configured entry and exit parameters. Once executed, your trade will be displayed in the Positions tab of Brokerage Plus. A simple order template to buy stocks, could be set up the following way. I will name my long strategy. Risk 100. I will select my Trade Ideas simulated trading account. I will not make changes to the Entry Time tab, except to keep the box, Send Orders even when holdings exist for Symbol, unchecked. Next, I will enter $100 as the total amount I am willing to risk on the trade. My order will be a limit order, with a minus 2 cent offset. My stop loss will be set to 20 cents and my profit target to 40 cents. I will not make changes to the hold time tab. After I select OK, you will see my newly created template, in the right click trade, drop down. When I select it, my trade will be executed, based on the parameters I have set, and my position will show up in the positions tab.